Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. Today I'm doing a very small one-part 3D printed project video. So I've got here, as you can see, my power drill. It's a normal handheld drill. And it's got one of these things which is supposed to hold the chuck key when you're not using it so you don't lose it, um, which is a rubber thing that you'd normally stick the chuck key in um, and it would stay in there nice and secure. Basically the problem is that the, the thing is broken so Obviously the chuck key doesn't stay in there any longer. So my plan is to make a replacement part to hold the chuck key, which um, I can fix onto this part of the mains cable. So I've done a very simple design in Autodesk 123D, which I did just by going and getting a block and putting it down and cutting chunks out of it with the split solid tool. So uh, basically it's got a curved piece here which is to make sure it fits on the mains cable and two holes so I can cable tie it on. And then it's got this T shaped slot in it which hopefully the chuck key will fit in and it should clip in and stay there. So on this side, let's just spin it round, you can see there's a tapered piece where hopefully the chuck key uh, can slot in there. So. I'm not sure if it's exactly the right size. I'm going to print it in ABS, which shrinks a bit as it cools. Um, I've measured it as best I can, um, but basically I've made sure that I can still go and adjust this surface so I can bring these closer or further apart as I need to. So I'm going to print one, see if it works out well, and if it does, then good. If it doesn't, then I can come back and adjust it and do another version. So here's the part, it's got holes for cable ties, as I said, that nice curve there to fit onto the cable. Um, I actually thought it was going to be too big, but in fact it's too small to push this into. So um, that's quite good though because um, I can just basically take a file to it and uh, clean this up. Um, obviously I could modify the um, model and reprint it, but it took 40 minutes and I only need one. so. I'm just going to do it manually. Obviously if it were too big I'd have to print a smaller one but because it's too small you can cut off material but you can't really stick it back on afterwards. So let's just um, clean that up and then it should be fine. Alright so that almost worked but on uh, pushing it in to test it in fact a piece has gone and snapped off which uh, now means it's useless. Obviously I've printed this with um, a honeycomb infill instead of solid it's printed with 40% uh, honeycomb infill, um, but obviously that wasn't strong enough to hold that piece on. So I better think again about that, possibly change the model so that this pushes into the middle instead of offset and make that gap slightly bigger. Fortunately, that's quite easy to do. So all I have to do is uh, grab this surface and go and move it back by say 20 mil maybe not 20 mil, 10 mil. And then look at this one. Um, I'll move that out by 10 mil and hopefully that sets the, the uh, groove there so it's more in the middle. Let's go back a bit. And I need to move this one out slightly anyway, so let's do that while we're there. So let's go back by about two mil, which will give me one mil cl extra clearance on each side. Um, it's not quite in the middle still, but we can adjust that. And then we'll print another version and see how that goes. So here's the version two. And that works fine, it fits in there. And obviously it doesn't snap when you push it in. Um, it doesn't hold in very well. Basically I could have made this uh, shallower. <sighs> It's actually, it does hold it in well, it's just loose, but um, there we go. So it works perfectly, it's just rattly. So I'm just putting in this crudely cut piece of foam. I'll just push that in there. And now, now it works fine. So there we go, the piece flexes. So you can get it in and out and, and everything functions. So now we need to just attach that to the drill. So first of all I'm going to cut off this one 
with this knife and then we're going to cable tie that on in its place. Go, we just tighten those up, cut the ends off, and then we should be good to go. Right, so there we are, all fixed on, and then we can put the chuck key in there. And that's all great, all the other way up. And now it doesn't get lost, and we can still use the drill.